It was always intended to be a two-way street between Red Hat and the open source development community. It's been 10 years. I mean, that, that's been a pretty long chunk of Red Hat's history. When we had recently announced Fedora, and we had an entire world full of people who didn't know what that meant, and we sort of didn't either. We needed a name, something that would be evocative of Red Hat and what we are, yet not use the Red Hat trademark. And so we thought, you know, that Fedora thing, that's actually kind of useful. Basically, we had a product in Red Hat Linux that was trying to, do, to perform two duties at the same time. It was trying to be enterprise software, and it was trying to be cutting edge release, early release off at the same time. Uh, and once the business realized that those were two conflicting goals, they made the move of splitting into Red Hat Enterprise Linux, which they could support over a long period of time, and then the Fedora project, which could iterate rapidly and make changes and be innovative. Back in the Red Hat Linux days, Warren Tagami and other members of the Red Hat Linux community set up a site called Fedora.us. It was add-on packages for Red Hat Linux. I proposed to Red Hat at the time, hey, um, I have this thing called Fedora that obviously was named to be uh, related to Red Hat in some way. Um, like, it's really to build upon and improve Red Hat. The history of Fedora really was the evolution of what I still think today is the best large-scale open source development platform in the world. I was astounded, uh, like maybe two or three years later, you could look at the chart of the, of the Fedora a contributor accounts uh, that was in the thousands. I think Fedora is the stalking horse of the open source community. It is the platform that sets the pace of how quickly we can move forward. It is a source code base of over 200 million lines of software, which moves forward faster than any enterprise class product that I know of. I think if you had to look at Fedora five years ago, that you probably wouldn't see the Fedora of today. So Fedora's community is pretty vast. I mean, we have people all over the world, but I think a lot of people don't realize all of the things that go on behind the scenes. Fedora is essentially our open innovation lab and this is critically important to Red Hat's success. People really get that there is definitely a relationship. A lot of people do look to Fedora to you know, get a view of what's coming in a future version of Red Hat Enterprise Linux. What Fedora did do was it gave a, a regularity to the innovation cycle that made it possible for other really large projects that had never played well with others to in fact play well with others. Red Hat takes a policy of everything that goes upstream, upstream first. And it's because we're passionate about the model. We believe in the open innovation model and we're all in. And for us, Fedora plays a key role in that. It's where we actually work with upstream communities in a way where Red Hat's certainly involved, but we don't fully control. We have to work with and drive what we want in an independent community. We could not make the kind of big bets that we make when we do a major update of Red Hat Enterprise Linux without all the information and all the participation and all the acceptance that we get because of the Fedora project. It's hard to say like, we're still here, um, but I think that that in itself is a pretty decent success. I mean, we're approaching the 20th release of Fedora and we've done this every six months, like almost exactly like clockwork, not perfectly clockwork, but you know, pretty darn close for 10 years. And that's a long time to keep at something and be able to actually make something that is useful and relevant and actually works. I mean, that in itself, I think, is a pretty big success of Fedora. Fedora, uh, from the early years, has always been about progress. I am quite happy to see that uh, that many years later, uh, that, that remains true and, and continues to be accelerated. I think it will uh, continue being the place where a lot of awesome things in open source actually come to either be developed or they come to, uh, to showcase what they've got. Everything that we do has definitely got an element of innovation uh, to it that I think really sets us apart. I certainly owe a lot to Fedora. Frankly, it's unclear I'd be at Red Hat if it weren't for Fedora. 
would I have been able to engage as well as I did with the recruiter and ultimately Red Hat's board if I hadn't had that experience with Fedora. So certainly it's uh, near and dear to my heart. Fedora was vital for keeping Enterprise Linux relevant, for keeping it fresh, and for giving us the ability to make innovative leaps time after time after time.